a testimony of brother or a visit in hell. I'm going to share the experience that the Lord gave me on the January 20, 2018 in the early morning in a place called Playa in Mexico. We were going to share the message of our Lord Jesus Christ to a church. The Lord spoke to me when I was on my way and told me, I will give you a new experience, though I have already revealed to you things before. I will reveal to you so that my people understand that I will continue to alert humanity, I do not want anyone to be lost but that all proceed to repentance, then I lie down on the bed I did not feel physical strength anymore, I felt that my spirit was starting to come out of my body, at that moment, I held the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ and we started to rise up, moment later we began to descend, suddenly we showed up before a volcano, when we got to that volcano, I saw a crater, the Lord tells me, we have arrived at the entrance of hell, in that moment the Lord asked me to hold his hands, we started to go down and descending in that volcano, as we were descending we arrived in a very dark tunnel, when we got to that dark tunnel I began to hear the screams, I could hear people saying Lord take me out, have mercy on me, please give me another opportunity, the Lord told me, follow me I have things to show you. Then we came before a very large gate with many padlocks. They were inscription on that gate which said welcome to eternal hell. When the gate of hell opened we started walking, I noticed that the screams were increasing it was horrendous. The lamentation were increasing, people were crying and asking the Lord for mercy. There were innumerable soul lamenting in that place, the Lord said, it is necessary that I show you these things that you will see here, although I had already shown you before. Basically people are failing to understand this, humanity is refusing to understand my warning about this place, quickly we descended to the depths of hell I started to see a tunnel, I say Lord I do not want to be here, at that moment I began to see many demons, many people were shouting in tremendous pain, they shouted to the Lord to get them out, I'd say Lord I do not want to be here, the Lord said, you have to see these things, then we walked and the Lord showed me a cell. In that cell there was a certain man and I wondered about him. This man was being tormented, then the Lord told me this man was an evangelist on the earth, he evangelized many people and he saved many souls, but as he preached to crowds of people he was living in sin, when he died in sin he landed here, many think that just by preaching my words they are already saved and that their salvation and entry to my kingdom is assured, but that is a deception. They have to live in holiness they must sanctify themselves when they are serving me, many are joking, they are failing to understand that I am holy and I want them to be holy, Jesus asked this man, tell me why you are here, you evangelized and you preached my word nevertheless you landed here, the man said, I did not live what I preached to multitudes of people, Jesus said to me, I am the one who knows the hearts, man can hide from man but not from me nobody can hide from me, this man was being tormented and he was shouting and saying, Lord, have mercy on me, I want to go to the earth to do your will and live according to your word, many are losing their soul many are going by the wrong way, sir, I want to go back, the Lord replied to the evangelist, the opportunity to repent is gone, you have no more opportunity, at that moment I said, Lord, I do not want to see this torture anymore, then we left that cell, we started walking and we got to this section where I could hear thousands of lamentation thousands of screams, then I heard a man who spoke in another language but the Lord gave me the knowledge of what he was talking about, the man said to the Lord, have mercy get me out of this place, please give me a chance, at that time I saw this man dancing on a dance floor, and as he was dancing he did a dance move called moonwalk, he was saying I cannot stand it anymore take me out please sir, and I listened to demon telling him you will continue to dance and you will be here because this is your kingdom, the Lord told me the man dancing is Michael Jackson, he was crying for mercy, the Lord told him mercy is on the surface of the earth, Michael told me, when you go back tell people to stop listening to my music and dancing my move, because the more they listen and dance my song the more torments I suffer in this place, I said to him I will warn people so that people would not dance those steps, every person listening and dancing these steps is equally heading to hell, Michael Jackson was begging for mercy and a second chance in order to repent, the Lord told him, 
they spoke of my word to you which teaches that this place exist, you did not use that opportunity, then the Lord took me in another cell and in that cell was a woman, this woman cried and screamed to the Lord, Jesus said to me, the lady was my servant, she was an evangelist, now look where she is because of her sin which was vanity, she liked vanity, she liked to have fun, she liked to walk elegantly and she wanted to be fine with most people instead of me, she thought she'd be fine, she wanted people to notice her in the world but she did not take into account my opinion, she went her own way, and then the Lord showed me a large screen the life of the lady, I saw the lady in the screen evangelizing, she was preaching to a crowd of people, she spoke to many people, she was wearing beautiful shoes and she was very attached to makeup and she was wearing very large earrings, she was very elegant but she did not have holiness, Jesus said, pastors who do not seek me in all heart, servants who preach the word for money and greed will come to this place, pastors who do not want to clean their churches, pastors who want to live in sin instead of holiness will come here, I want you to live a life of holiness I want you to be holy as I am holy. This woman screamed and screamed and said sir, you must get me out of here, I cannot take it, the devils that were in her cell said, praise and love, this is your kingdom, you have to worship now, the demon order her to preach like on the earth, she took a bible and preached to the crowd of people in this place that were in their cells, at that time I said Lord, my heart ached so much to see these people being tormented, I said, Lord, have mercy for mankind have mercy, the Lord said, I have mercy on mankind, I give them time to change their way but they do not want to repent and regret their sins, my people are far from me, my people want to live in sin, people think that I will come back in many years yet I'll be back soon, when we started to walk I saw a young man and this young man was being tormented and he was seating on an amber chair that was heated like an oven, it was like a barbecue, he moved and said sir, I cannot take it anymore, I cannot stand it anymore, and he was playing drum with the wand, he was asking the Lord to get him out of here, the Lord show me this man when he was on the earth, he was playing drum in the church but he was living in sin, Jesus said, I do not want to see people behaving this way, people coming to serve but they are living in sin, I want holy and a humble heart, when we got near this young man, Jesus told him there is nothing he can do for him it was too late, when this man was on the earth he used to say I will try to please the Lord but as he was not determined to sort out his sins straight away, death came while he was still in sin, the Lord told me, many are losing their soul, many are playing music in the church but living in sin, the shepherds do not see, the pastors are blind about everything, but everything will come out in this place, and it is necessary that this is recorded, you will tell the people all this, as we walked away this man was still being tormented and he said, Lord, get me out of here, I cannot stand it anymore, my heart was hurt to see this man in this situation, I said Lord I do not want to see this anymore, Jesus said I have more things to show you, as we move a little further, I got to a place where there was a woman who had a microphone, she would not stop singing, she kept singing, I heard devils ordering her to sing and dance, they told her this is your kingdom, but when she saw the Lord she said I cannot stand it anymore, I want to get out of this place, please sir have mercy, at that time the Lord told me, this lady is Jenny Rivera, I saw demons tormenting her and I also saw how a snake rolled over her body, the woman begged Jesus for mercy, she said I cannot stand it, please, the Lord said to her, they spoke of my word to you but you close your ears and you harden your heart to my presence, Jesus said to me, none of these famous people have not heard about my word but they harden their heart and ignore the warning, the Lord told me, this lady have signed a deal with the devil for celebrity and wealth, but look what Satan has given her, only torment in which she will not be able to leave and worm will be in her bed and worms will cover her. I saw how worm began to cover all her skin all over her body and likewise I saw how snakes came out over her body, I said Lord have mercy and take me out of this place, suddenly we started to walk and I started to see a cell, and in that cell there was a woman and this woman was living in sin she liked being vain, and I saw that she used to be a pastor, Jesus said I will show you many servants who are living in sin, they live in sin because I have mercy, I still have mercy. 
beloved brother and sister, the Lord still loves the sinner but he does not like sin, the Lord made a screen appeared, in that screen he showed me this lady who was a pastor, he was heading to the city to buy things, she bought a lot of makeup, earrings and then she went up to preach, she did not practice the word of God, she wanted the things of the world in her life she was in carnal things, the Lord showed me another cell and in that cell there was a pastor, this shepherd was in this place because he liked drinking, he liked going out with women, this pastor said, sir, get me out of here for a minute so that I can return to earth to speak to your servants and pastors who have to repent because they're living in sin, at that moment demons laughed and said to him, you are crazy this is your kingdom, I said sir I cannot stand it any more, the demon forced this man to drink acid that burnt his body, he started to cry and he said, Lord, take me out of this place please, I cannot stand it any more, take me so that I can speak about your truth that hell exists, the man had to drink acid because on the earth he was attached to drinking, the Lord said to him, it's too late for you, now you do not have any more opportunities, Jesus said there are many things within the church and I'll show what is inside the church, there is a lot of hypocrisy, there is adultery inside of churches, pastors don't mind my spirit, but I am coming back for a people without spot without wrinkle, I come for a holy people, I want you to tell my people that I'm coming soon, time is finished, many of my people are losing their soul because of sin, many are living in sin, many shepherds want to see if hell exists in order to believe, on the other hand hell is receiving and expecting to receive many pastors, evangelists and many people, Satan wants more people to be tormented here and many are those who are losing their soul because of sin, few people are entering my kingdom, at that moment Jesus began to cry for the lost souls, I said sir, I'll tell your people what I am seeing here, tell my people it is time to turn to me, this is the time to come to me, I am waiting for them with open arms, tell humanity that it is time to come back to me, I love them and I will erase their sins, I love the sinner but I do not like sin you must not shut up and go tell them why many are being deceived by the devil, many prefer to walk in sin, many prostitutes want to walk like Satan, many think that just because they accepted me that is enough, they don't mind sanctification and purification, Satan is waiting for them, many churches are living in sin, the Lord showed me another cell where I saw a woman, this woman thought that she would not come to this place when she died because she was a Christian but now she is here, she screamed and said Lord, can you not take me away from here? Take me away please, sir, I cannot bear this place, many are going through the wrong way. The lady said, when you go back to the earth tell my people that I love them, there is no more opportunity for me, and this woman said sir have mercy on me, I want to go to earth to warn people that this place exists, there is suffering, when I asked the lady why she was in this place, she said to me, I liked going out with brothers and having sex with them that is why I'm in this place, the Lord showed me demons that were raping her in her cell, and during the sexual intercourse she would scream and say Lord have mercy on me, take them off me, then she said to me, tell the shepherds, the servants and the evangelists not to come to this place, tell them to live a life of holiness, it is time to live in holiness, I fear my dad may come here, I do not have any more opportunity to leave this place but be strong because in the churches where you are going they will not believe because they want to see hell and they even want to see Satan in order to believe, the Lord then said, the workers are few, many are getting lost many are going the wrong way, people preferred the freedom of the world, I said sir, I do not want to be here anymore, the Lord told me come, I have more things to show you, I continue walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, and while I was walking with the Lord I saw a woman, just like Jenny Rivera she was forced to sing and dance in hell, I observed that she did not have a snake on her body, still she had worm and many worms over her body, when she saw the Lord she started saying sir have mercy, get me out of this place, please give me another opportunity, I cannot stand this anymore, sir, please, the Lord stops and tells me, the one you are seeing is Selena, she extended her hand to Jesus Christ and she was asking for mercy, the Lord Jesus Christ said to her, mercy is available on the earth, when you were on earth they spoke to you about my word, you did not hear, the Lord told me, 
Worm will be in his bed and Worm will covet her, I saw demons telling her this is your kingdom you are not coming out, I saw that she could not stop singing just like Jenny Rivera, then Selena said to me, please warn humanity, people should no longer sing my songs, because the more they do it the more torment I am going through, she said to me, even Christian people hearing my song they are in their house. At that moment I said in my mind I'm going to tell humanity so that they would not sing your songs, the Lord tells me, come and see I have something more to show you, we kept walking, then I saw a man, just like Jenny Rivera and Selena, I saw that he was singing, and I saw that he too had a snake around his body, and at that time he said to the Lord have mercy on me, however he knew that it was too late he was lost forever, so he started screaming to the Lord where is your mercy Lord, where is your love, on earth they said that you had mercy, they said you were love but where is your love where is your mercy, he said to the Lord, why have you created my soul, if I knew I was going to come to this place I could have done something, when you created humanity you knew that they were going to come to this place, the Lord took me out of that place and we went to a place where I started to see a lake of fire and brimstone, there was nobody in that lake of fire, Jesus told me what you see in this place is the lake of fire and brimstone, and everything you see here in hell will be cast to the lake of fire which is the second death, and those that are not found enrolled in the book of life will come to this place, the Lord said, that's why I am revealing to you things that I had already shown you, so that no one perishes so that nobody comes to this place but that all proceed to repentance the one that will not found enrolled in my book will come to the lake of fire and brimstone which is the second death, in that moment the Lord told me, now I have you to get you out of this place, we started to leave that place and we started to ascend, then the Lord he took in 